What's going on everybody, Ronnie DiMaggio here, product specialist at BMW of Morristown. And in today's video, we are gonna be taking a look at the 2023 BMW 7 Series. So the 7 Series was just fully redesigned for the 2023 model year. That includes changes to the exterior styling, the interior styling, the interior technology, the powertrain options, full-fledged redesign, all new model for the 7 Series, which is really exciting. As you all know, the 7 Series is BMW's full-size luxury sedan, the flagship, both in terms of styling and technology. Uh, in many ways, performance as well. The 7 Series is offered with BMW's most powerful engine, the twin-turbo V8, the S68, found in the 760, which is what we have here. So in this video, we're gonna do a thorough walk around of the car. We'll talk about the exterior styling, the interior, and the powertrain options as well. So let's start off under the hood. I'll pop the hood and we can talk about the engine. All right, so under the hood of the 7 Series, you have, uh, generally speaking, three different options. So this is the 760. So what you're looking at now is a twin turbocharged 4.4 liter V8 with 536 horsepower, 553 pound-feet of torque. It is all wheel drive as well. Um, but if you don't want the V8, you don't need the V8, you can get the inline six. That's a three liter turbocharged inline six uh, with 382 horsepower. Or you can get the i7 xDrive 60, which is the full electric version of the seven series. That has 536 horsepower as well in the i7 and it is dual motor, so it is all wheel drive. But let's talk about the 760, which is what we have here. So if we wanna take a look at the engine, you can see it is the S68, which is the 4.4 liter twin turbocharged V8. Same engine that you'll find in the X7 M60. Uh, it will be found in the next generation M5 as well, which is very exciting. Um, so the S68 is very powerful. It is a new V8 engine and it serves the flagship 7 Series very well. Obviously being a flagship car, it has to be fast. That's part of being a luxurious car. You have to have that passing power and that acceleration and the 760 has it in spades. It's a very, very quick car, very powerful, really nice to drive uh, at low RPMs. It has a lot of really strong torque, even without really pressing the accelerator very hard. So really impressive and a uh, great engine for the 760. Uh, that is under the hood. Uh, before we go any further, pardon the rain, if you guys can hear that. Uh, rainy day here in Morristown, New Jersey, not in our usual location. We're under the canopy here, so we stay dry. But uh, we'll do the best we can with the 7 Series anyway. So now that we're outside, of, car, outside uh, of the car, talking about the styling, we'll start up front. So if you just want to take a look at the front end, you'll notice a lot of unique changes for 2023. Starting off, you have the split headlight design. So in this top sec section uh, are your daytime running lights, but the lower section down here has all your functional driving lights, your low beams, your high beams, so on and so forth. This car is equipped with the M Sport package. So M Sport package is standard on all 2023 seven series, except for the i7, the electric version. The M Sport package gives you these sort of more aggressive bumper inlays uh, that are black. They don't stand out nearly as much on a black sapphire metallic car like we have here. But if you had a white seven series or something like that, you would notice the M Sport uh, bumper much more. We have this really big and prominent kidney grill on some cars. You can get the illuminated kidney grill, which looks very nice. Uh, and obviously in the center there, you have your um, all black sensor for the driving assistance professional package, uh, which gives you the lane keep assist as well as the radar cruise control and all of those good features. Something really interesting about the 7 Series um, that is new for BMW, if we take a close look at these headlights um, as they uh, do their little dance there when I unlock the car, you can see they have kind of a shimmer. Hopefully you guys can see that okay uh, through the rain and whatnot. Um, but these are crystal headlights. That is new for BMW. They're LED headlights, of course, uh, but they actually have crystals integrated into them, which give them a really elegant and sleek look when you're looking at the daytime running lights. It's a very nice uh, feature for a flagship car. You have those kind of fancy elements that just make it look a little more special. So really exciting to see that on the 7 Series. Uh, while we're up front, I think it's a good time to talk about the size of this car. Obviously, the 7 Series is a full-size luxury SUV, um, but BMW really took that uh, the next step for the next generation. This is a very, very big car. You can see the hood is very long. It's very wide. It has uh, sort of 
uh, pronounced like protrusions in the front bumper. There's a pretty big overhang with the front wheels and whatnot. So it's a very big car. I know a lot of 7 Series customers enjoy the size of the 7 Series. They prefer a bigger car. BMW really played into that with the 2023 model. Uh, it is very big. Just driving it around the parking lot, you can tell it's a big, commanding feeling car. It does have the uh, integral active steering, the rear steering, um, which helps tremendously with around town parking lot things, uh, mo uh, maneuverability and things like that. Um, so it drives a little smaller as far as its maneuverability, but it is big. Uh, we're going to get in the back seat pretty soon and you'll see how big it is back there as well. But that's the front end. Let's take a quick look at these wheels. They are a 20 inch wheel. There are plenty of different wheel options for the 2023 7 Series. These are the 20s and with the M Sport Package Pro, you can see you get the black caliper there, which looks really nice. Uh, if you don't get the M Sport Package Pro, you can option that caliper in different colors, uh, but black looks nice and sleek. Uh, let's take a walk around to the back of the car here. Again, pardon the kind of space constraints that we're working with here. Um, not our usual filming location due to the rain, but here we are around back of the 7 Series, and you can see that the design changes continue around back as well. Starting uh, first with the taillights, you can see uh, we do have LED taillights in the rear as well, and they do that cool little animation when you unlock the car. But if you want to get up close to those, uh, it may not show properly on camera. A lot of the time, the frame rate kind of messes with the, uh, the lights in the taillight. It kind of flickers, but it doesn't flicker in person. Uh, overall, really nice looking traditional BMW style L-shaped taillight. And in that very same uh, area, you can see the 760 badge is a little bit different than it used to be. That 7 is a little bit bigger to kind of put emphasis on the flagship nature of the car, the 7 Series is the biggest, uh, the baddest, the flagship in the lineup. So that seven is a little bit bigger than the other numbers because that is the number that matters. We have a pretty subtle little lip spoiler on the deck lid there. Looks really nice, adds a little bit of flair, especially being that this is an M Sport packaged car. Let's take a look down at the lower portion of the bumper, specifically the exhaust tips. You can see that this car does have sort of like a quad exhaust type of setup. Uh, it's not loud by any means, but it has a sporty looking exhaust and it does have a nice, very, very subtle uh, sort of rumble and hum to it, uh, being the V8 powered car. If you don't want that, totally fine. We have the electric car, the i7, which makes no noise at all uh, if you want that kind of quiet um, feel to your flagship car. Uh, the i7 might be the one for you, but the 760 with its powerful V8 and sporty looking exhaust tips makes a nice noise. Uh, but overall, the styling of this car is very next-gen for BMW. It's very avant-garde. Uh, it's very uh, progressive, forward-thinking for BMW. Because this car has so much presence uh, and sort of uh, just, I guess presence is really the best word for it. Um, it's big. It's bold. Uh, it makes a statement when you see it in the showroom. Uh, it's just a really striking and stunning-looking car. Really big fan of the styling and what BMW did going the extra step, making it a little bit bolder. Uh, I think it really paid off because the 7 Series looks finally as good as it uh, has always driven and been as a luxury car. So that is the exterior styling. Hopefully that gave you guys a nice look at what the 7 Series looks like on the outside. Now we're going to pop the trunk. We'll take a look at the cargo area and then we'll move on to the back seat, which is one of my favorite parts of the 7 Series because it is so comfortable and so well equipped. But let's start with the cargo area. All right, so here we are around back of the 760. Let's go into the trunk, which is accessed by pressing that small little button on the tailgate there. As you can see, it's totally hands-free. It lifts up all on its own electronically. And as you can also see now, the rear uh, cargo area is incredibly spacious. Plenty, plenty of room back here. I always use the metric of how many golf bags can you fit in the back of a BMW to measure its practicality in the cargo area. It's looking like an easy four golf bags in the back there for me, which is great. So you and your three favorite golf buddies can fit all four uh, sets in the back there. Uh, plenty of space in the trunk for sure. As is standard with the 7 Series, the rear seats do not fold down, but you do have a little pass through there uh, for some skis or uh, whatever it is that you might be carrying that can't quite fit in the trunk. You do have a pass through for those longer items. 
Um, also back here, you have some standard kind of amenities like some hooks for grocery bags uh, and things like that. You also have some tie downs. If you have any cargo that you want to secure further, you can tie it down using those little hooks that are there in the trunk. So the cargo area is plenty spacious, really, really big. Obviously being a larger vehicle, the 7 Series, of course, it's going to have a spacious trunk. It does close hands-free as well. You just touch the button, of course, and it will do its thing and close all on its own. So that's the trunk. Now let's move into the back seat. But before we do that, I want to talk about the doors in the 7 Series because the doors are a unique thing uh, with the 7 Series that BMW just did for 2023. It has automatic doors. That's kind of a trickle-down feature from Rolls-Royce, obviously a company under the BMW corporate umbrella. Uh, and finally, we got some, some cool Rolls-Royce um, tech in the 7 Series. So we'll start with the doors and accessing the car, and then we will hop in the back seat and talk about the amenities in the rear. So alongside of the 7 Series, uh, we have, of course, a rear door. Let's talk about how to open the door. Now, in probably your car and most other cars, you just stick your hand in here, uh, press the latch, and open the door as usual. That was not good enough for BMW and the 7 Series, of course. So we have automatic doors in the 7 Series. So what you do, as long as you have the key in your, on your person, I have it here in my pocket, you can press on the little light there on the side of the door and step out of the way. The door will pop open and then it will open itself all the way up so you have unrestricted access into the back seat of your 7 Series. And then another neat feature for closing the door, you can just close the door regularly, kind of just push it closed like that, but that's no fun. You can actually just kind of start the door closing uh, lightly like that, and it will close itself the rest of the way. So as you're getting out of the car, you can just kind of lightly push on the door, get it started, and the door will close itself the rest of the way. That is a feature, the automatic doors uh, and the sort of self-closing mechanism is a feature on all four doors. Now, it doesn't just stop at the outside. So let's say you press your button, you get out of the way so the door opens itself. By the way, there are sensors all along the side of the car so it will only open uh, as far as it is able to. So I'll show you what it looks like if I'm standing in the way of the door. I can press this, it'll still pop open. It might open a little bit, but it sees that I'm standing here so it's not gonna open into me. But anyway, uh, you guys can stay there. I'm gonna hop in the 7 Series. And now that I'm in the back seat here, there's another button on the door here. So I'm in, I'm comfortable. I press my button and the door will close itself. Obviously, uh, that is the same mechanism that works uh, for the exterior on the interior, but there's a second little button on the inside too. So when you get in the car, you don't have to reach out and close the door. You just press the button and the door closes itself. So really cool feature. Uh, about the doors. There are a ton of more cool features inside the 7 Series. So with that said, let's hop inside and talk about some of that stuff starting in the rear seat. All right, so here we are in the back seat of the 2023 7 Series. In my opinion, this is the place to be in the 7 Series. Starting off with the seats themselves, they are extraordinarily comfortable. Some of the most comfortable back seats that I have ever sat in. They come with these really plush pillows that you can secure to the headrest as I have here. So they're really comfortable. You can lay back very comfortably. Uh, of course, being in the back seat of a 7 Series, you do have pretty um, comprehensive command of the interior of the car. To start, uh, you can adjust climate control, you can do radio, you can make phone calls, you can connect your Bluetooth phone to the back seat specifically. So if a phone call comes in, um, it will come through these speakers and you have your microphones back here so you can make phone calls as a rear seat passenger that might be being chauffeured. Uh, additionally, this car isn't equipped with it, but you can get the 7 Series with a theater screen, which is a 31 inch 8K display that folds down from the ceiling. You can stream uh, Netflix. It has Fire TV built into it so you can watch YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Hulu, whatever you want to do on that TV. It also has a camera integrated in it so you can make video calls. Uh, you can attend those Zoom business meetings from the backseat of your 7 Series. Uh, so the theater screen is really cool. Uh, we have not had a chance to check one out yet, at least not for YouTube. We did have one in, but it came in and went too quickly to film. Um, but we can show some clips of what the theater screen kind of looks like uh, here. Very cool feature. Um, and it is definitely something that you would want to access or um, option on your 7 Series if you want one with all the bells and whistles. But 
Uh, not necessarily a uh, must-have option, but it is very cool. But anyway, let's talk about what this 7 Series does have. So this one has uh, fully heated and cooled and massaging rear seats. It also has the multifunction rear seats. Uh, and you might be wondering how you control all of these things. I talked about controlling radio and climate from the back seat. Well, you do that with the little screen that is on the door here. So as you can see, I can press the home button there and I have a little menu of things that I can access. To start, we can go to seats. Uh, here, I can adjust the front seat. So as I do that, you can see that the front seat actually moves forward and backwards. Uh, I can scroll over to massage and I can activate my own seat massage in the back and then select what type of massage I would want. Uh, you can also go up to the seat climate section and you can adjust your heated and ventilated seats. Also in this menu, you have uh, a blinds option so you can go through and open and close all of the blinds in the car. So as I press close all, you can see the sunroof line folds forward uh, or folds backward from the front. Uh, my side blinds go up and the rear blind goes up and now you can see how dark it got back here. Uh, the blinds are really uh, surprisingly uh, like dense in their material. They do not, surprisingly opaque is a better word. Uh, they don't let a lot of light through, uh, which is pretty cool, but with one touch, you can open them all back up and you can see all the blinds uh, going back to their open position. Uh, also back here, we have a light menu, so you can press the light button and you can control the reading lights and you can also control the ambient lighting colors as well as the brightness. Uh, you have my mode, so you can actually adjust the mode of the um, ambient lighting and the climate control kind of all in one. So you have these predetermined modes, uh, expressive, relax, and personal. Uh, these will control the blinds, um, the climate control, the ambient lighting colors, things like that. Um, speaking of ambient lighting, um, the 7 Series has a really cool bar in the front, which we'll talk about when we get up front. Uh, the sort of interaction bar with a sort of crystal glass like cover on it, which is really cool But that ambient lighting extends to the back as well. We have footwell lighting. We have lighting on the sides here um, And all of that good stuff that you would expect out of a car with ambient lighting Finally, we have telephone and display telephone is how you make phone calls and then display will allow you to adjust the brightness of this little display back here and then if we click media radio you can scroll through your different radio sources and adjust the volume and things like that um, but that's going to do it for the back seat of the 7 Series. Overall, extremely comfortable with the multifunction and massaging rear seats. You can get really comfortable back here. Um, I can move this seat fully forward. I'm about five foot nine, and I have room to fully extend my legs um, as far out as I'd want. I can put the seat back and get into a almost like laying down position, which is really cool um, and really nice that BMW has really gone um, all the way with the comfort in the back seat of the 2023 7 Series. It is fantastic. But um, most 7 Series owners will be driving them cars themselves, their cars themselves. Uh, maybe passengers will enjoy the backseat amenities, but most people that are buying these cars will be driving them. So let's talk about where the driver sits. That is the front seat. And we'll hop up there and talk about some of the technology for the front seat and driver occupants. All right, so here we are up front in the 7 Series. Uh, this is, uh, in my opinion, BMW's most forward-thinking, most advanced, and most beautiful interior um, that they've ever done for front seat passengers. So a lot of things, like with the iX, are kind of next-gen for BMW. Uh, with the newest iterations of cars, BMW has redesigned even the most simple things, like the window switches are all new, the mirror controls are all new, uh, the lock and unlock buttons are all new and whatnot. So all of those things are next gen for BMW. Um, the steering wheel is next generation. This is a new steering wheel for new vehicles. Um, we have iDrive 8. That's this big curved center display. Um, right now it's in expressive mode. So it's showing you some cool kind of artwork. Um, but if we just press the home button here, you'll get your standard home button, uh, of course. Um, but this is cool for video, so we can leave that up. Uh, let's start talking about some of the key driver focus kind of ergonomics and things like that And then we'll go into the technology and some of the neat uh, gadgets and tips and tricks that the 7 Series has to offer Starting with the steering wheel 
Uh, BMW does the best steering wheels in the business, in my opinion. This one is no excep exception. It's fantastic. Nice thick rim with a clean, uh, clear 9 and 3 grip. You have some 10 and 2 notches and, of course, your paddles on the back. We do have a flat bottom, which is, uh, I believe, a first for BMW. Finally, we have a factory flat bottom steering wheel with some cool kind of hollowed out uh, supports right down here in the center, which looks really nice. The 3DM logo. And of course, your multifunction controls for radio and phone, and then cruise control over on the left. The horn uh, is in the center, just where you would expect, and this really nice stitched airbag cover looks great as well. There's also a black leather kind of noon stripe on the steering wheel, which is really cool. Um, as far as I know, they don't offer this in any color other than black, but it's cool, just kind of an indicator like you see on kind of sportier cars uh, with like performance intentions. You have that stripe so you can point the car precisely. Uh, that's the steering wheel. Let's talk about these front seats, which are absolutely fantastic. Uh, they are adjustable in um, every single possible way you could think. Um, you have thigh adjustment, uh, side bolster adjustment, pitch adjustment, forward and backward adjustment. Um, you have the individual shoulder support. Actually, instead of talking about it, why don't I show you on the screen here so you can adjust the headrest up and down. You can adjust the lumbar in and out. Uh, you have your thigh support, your pitch, um, your bolster uh, width, and things like that. So really heavily adjustable seat. Of course, the front seats with the executive package. Uh, you do want to option the executive package in these cars. In my opinion, that gives you the massaging seats and the automatic doors, as well as the crystal headlights. Um, but the executive package and uh, will give you these massaging seats. So you have all these different massage um, options and the massage levels. Um, I personally am receiving a massage from the 7 Series right now, and it's fantastic. Uh, it's really strong. You can really feel it in your back. Uh, really great to kind of relieve fatigue from those longer trips. Um, so really great seats in the 7 Series. Another thing that's interesting with the 7 Series uh, that I've found is when you do move the seat, it'll be tough to tell on video, but it starts the movement and ends the movement gently and softly. So. In most cars, when you adjust the seat, it just stops. When you release the button in the 7 Series, it slowly comes to a stop after you finish adjusting the seat. It's really incredible the amount of attention to detail that BMW put into just the little things like how smoothly the seat adjustment works. It's silky smooth, which is really impressive. Another example of that is the windows. They're slow, but that's because the window motors are the quietest of any car I've ever heard. Uh, they're super quiet. Uh, and they go up really smoothly and kind of gently. So it's those little things that BMW has uh, paid attention to uh, with their attention to detail in this car is really incredible. Let's talk about some of the basic technology in the 7 Series, uh, and then we'll get into some cool little tricks. So the um, infotainment system is iDrive 8. That is the curved display. So you have 14.9 inches here, 12.9 in the gauge cluster. Um, this is your standard iDrive 8, so you have navigation, you have enhanced Bluetooth, obviously Sirius XM. It's laid out in a tile format here on the home screen. It is touch, or you can use the iDrive knob down here in the center, which is crystal here in the 7 Series. Um, we can go over here. These four icons are four different submenus, so you have just the menu. These are all your settings and different applications. You have media. This is all your radio and Bluetooth streaming. You also have your phone section here, so you can click on this and access contacts. You can also dial a number if you want to or look through recent calls. We also have our navigation option. Obviously, you can go in here and click on search, uh, type in an address of wherever you want to go. Maybe it's 111 Ridgedale Ave here in Morristown, New Jersey, because you want to go buy a 7 Series. Uh, you can uh, type it in just like that, start your guidance, and you're off. The car also has a really interesting augmented reality view for the navigation. So when you have a navigation destination entered, it will actually show you a picture of the front of the car and it'll overlay an arrow in real time telling you exactly where to turn. You can get that on the center screen or you can get it in the gauge cluster as well, which is really cool. Uh, so you can see there that the gauge cluster has a front view of the car uh, and it will overlay arrows uh, onto that picture in real time to show you exactly where you want to turn, which is really helpful when navigating unfamiliar areas. Uh, so that's kind of the standard stuff for the infotainment system. Uh, in the center, at least, you do have your adjustable center uh, or instrument panel, I should say, your gauge cluster area. 
you can press this little button here on the steering wheel and scroll through the content that's shown in the center uh, from map to a G meter to media and radio. You can adjust the layout or you can adjust your heads up display there in the windshield. So that's the uh, kind of central technology, uh, the uh, instrument panel and the center control screen there. Let's talk a little bit about some interesting things that the 7 Series can do. Party tricks, kind of fun features. The first of which is the interaction bar here. That extends all the way from the left uh, driver's door to the passenger door, and it integrates a couple of different things. So it integrates uh, a lot of buttons. You can see that the seat memory, the seat menu button, the lock and unlock button, as well as the automatic door button, the light controls, the vent controls, and things like that are integrated into the interaction bar, but it also is a main source of ambient lighting in the front of the 7 Series. So if I go into my settings here and go into um, interior lighting, I can change the color, and if you look at the interaction bar, it will change to whatever color I set it to. So now it's on uh, that coral uh, color, or you can go all the way through, I believe there's 15 different color options, change it to whatever you like. That's really cool in and of itself, but it's actually dynamic in that it will change what is showing depending on what's happening in the car. So, for example, if I put the hazards on, it flashes red because uh, it's indicating that the hazard lights are on and because it looks cool and shows that there's a hazard. Um, if I get a phone call, for example, it will actually pulse in the center here you can see as I get a phone call, it pulses in the middle there, and then I can reject the phone call with my gesture control like that. I can swipe to the right and cancel the phone call. Um, but so the interaction bar is really interesting because it's dynamic and it shows uh, different things depending on what's going on in the car. So that's pretty cool. Another thing kind of in that area, if we press this button here, that is how you open the glove box, which is um, an interesting feature in the interaction bar, BMW integrated that um, glove box opening into the bar there, which is pretty cool to see. Also in the interaction bar, um, and this will kind of loop into our next um, kind of feature of the 7 Series. If I go into my doors and windows menu here, you can see that I can pull up a menu for the automatic doors. And from here, first of all, it'll give you the option of opening all the doors from the driver's seat. It'll also show you how uh, close a obstacle is on the right there. So we have a wall to our right, it shows that wall there, but if I press this, the door will open up and the interaction bar will blink red there to indicate that the door is open. Uh, if anybody's coming that way, um, it'll kind of tell them, you know, watch out, uh, the door's opening and it blinks red to show that. I can of course close the door from the driver's seat as well, all with that menu in the center here. We also have an option to close and open all of our blinds if we wanted to. So lots of options there in the settings menu here. There's plenty to go through as far as um, adjusting the car. The car is extremely configurable, um, as are all new BMWs, but the 7 Series kind of takes that a step further. Another feature that I really like in the 7 Series has to do with the My Modes section down here. So My Modes replaces the traditional Sport, Comfort, and Eco that we're used to in BMW. So now you have personal, you have sport, efficient, expressive, and relaxed. So these modes no longer only affect the driving of the car. They also affect the ambient lighting, the blinds, uh, the climate control, and things like that. So it will take all of the car's possible uh, kind of features and whatnot and put them together in whatever configuration it finds uh, best to put you in a specific mood or to kind of Put the car in a certain mode so personal is up to you you control the ambient lighting the climate control the blinds so on and so forth uh, everything else will kind of do those things for you sport mode you can see uh, you can't see but you can, i can tell you my seat bolsters just got tighter the ambient lighting went blue and red the gauge cluster and the screen kind of went red and things like that um, and obviously that'll make the steering heavier and the throttle a little bit sharper if we go to efficient, things will kind of become more relaxed. You'll get blue and yellow in the ambient lighting. Um, I'll get a display here for how much gas I'm saving, so it puts everything into a more efficient mode. If I go to expressive, this one's kind of more artistic and kind of 
um, expressive, I guess. So it shows the ambient lighting in the interaction bar here in a more dynamic way. So the lighting will actually pulse and kind of shimmer and change a little bit. It also just activated my seat massage and it shows in both the gauge cluster and the center screen here this sort of artsy display which is really cool. It's very minimalist this mode so you have your simple climate menus down there on the bottom I have my gas time and engine temperature and that's pretty much it obviously my speed as well. Um, so this is a kind of minimalist artistic sort of mode which is really cool. And then finally we have relax. So when I click relax, you'll see all the blinds will close. The ambient lighting will really tone down to a lighter, more subdued uh, color, less bright colors, and it will put you in a relaxing mood. It'll adjust the climate control. It will uh, adjust the gauge cluster layout. It will do everything it can to relax you. But uh, those are the modes in the 7 Series. They are really cool. And of course, if you want to kind of build your own mode, you just go into personal and set everything up how you would like it to be set up. So we're running a little bit long here already. I know this is a long one. The 7 Series is super feature packed. So we'll stop there. We went over all the really cool stuff. Um, but I also kind of want to talk about general interior design and ergonomics. Um, the 7 Series is really well designed. It's minimalist, but it's still stylish in its own ways. Um, you have the curved iDrive 8 display with kind of a more protruding upper dashboard that covers it a little bit more so it looks a little bit more traditional it's hugged a little more here on the left with some dash panels you have the interaction bar which is of course really uh, kind of bold and new in design but really cool nonetheless the center console is pretty standard you have your standard uh, shifter and iDrive controller layout here all pretty standard for new generation BMWs like the iX the 7 series and whatnot uh, but very kind of standard 7 there just ahead of that, you have two cup holders, uh, which can close and open individually. You have your wireless charging tray, and you also have some center storage in the middle there. So that is the interior of the 7 Series. Overall, absolutely fantastic place to be. BMW did an incredible job with the interior of the 7 Series. Uh, it is best in class, in my opinion. Um, everyone is, of course, entitled to their own opinions, um, and of course, I'm going to say the BMW is the best in class, uh, being a BMW dealership. Um, but we have some really venerable competitors in this segment, and uh, we're just proud to be able to compete um, mightily and on a really, um, you know, competitive level with uh, some cars like the S-Class, the A8, so on and so forth. They're all really incredible cars, and BMW has come up to the plate um, with their best effort here with the 7 Series. They did an incredible job. So really cool to check out the interior of the 7 Series, but let's hop outside and we will wrap up. All right, so that is going to do it for our walk around and overview with the 2023 BMW 7 Series. Really hope you guys enjoyed checking out the 7 Series with us as much as we enjoyed sharing it with you. Like I said, this is a really competitive segment. Uh, the S-Class is an incredible car, the A8 is an incredible car, and the 2023 7 Series is a very incredible car. Um, really, really, BMW stepped up their game here in a big way, and um, as employees of BMW and uh, BMW enthusiasts, we're really excited that the 7 Series um, is as strong of an effort as it is. So. That's gonna do it for this one. Really hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel if you think we deserved it. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think of the 7 Series. And if you have any questions about the 7 Series or anything BMW related, drop that down in a comment and we will reply to you. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at BMW Morristown or come visit us at 111 Ridgedale Ave. But that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.